Hello everyone and welcome to Tracy Boards Crokinole. My name is Linder Wendt and I'll be commentating through this match of Josh Carfiello and Tom Johnson. You see Carfiello is starting off with an open 20. He is very accurate on his open 20s, does not miss those a whole lot. We'll see how Tom Johnson follows suit here. And he secures a 20 of his own. Josh a little hot on that one, but it's not a bad leave. He's in between the pegs. We'll see Josh working over to his left to try and get this one out. And he does with a nice bounce back on the peg, forcing play to his side of the board. That forces Carfiello to peel and give Johnston an open shot. He is opting for what we call the Conrad, where he shoots through Hogan's Alley, trying to leave the disc in a place where his opponent cannot easily score a 20. And then once again, he hits a peg, bouncing out to the outside, forcing Carfiello to peel once again. Here he goes for the standard open 20, but he misses a little long. <clears throat> we'll see if Carfiello goes for the follow-through 20 here to score, or if he opts to just hit and stick and find a better position. Looks like he's going for the follow-through, and he pushed a little far, slightly on Johnston's side of the house. And we'll see how Johnson approaches this one. Looks like he's lining up the takeout. And he does, and he beautifully bounces on that peg once again, forcing play back to his side of the board and forcing Carafiello to peel for the third time this match. Johnston opting for the Conrad once again to keep Carafiello away from the 20 hole. Carafiello once again pushes the play back to Johnson's side. Johnson just needs a simple hit and stick to win the round, which he gets. So he will lead 2-0 after the first round. We'll see once again that great takeout to bounce back and bring play to his side of the board. Here's another one where he's just beautifully using those pegs, keeping control of the board. A well-played game from Johnston there. Now time for the second round of the four that we will play. Johnston opens up scoring with an open 20, and Carfiello follows suit. Tom Johnson had a fantastic point total in the morning, which I'll talk about more, but here he leaves a hanger, which Carfiello converts hanger 20, and now Carfiello's in a nice position up a 20 with the hammer. We'll see how Johnson responds. He gets an open 20, but Carfiello is not letting up here. <coughs> Great shooting, seems the competitors are finding their range and hitting open 20s. As I mentioned before, Johnson had a fantastic morning finishing in 4th overall among the competitors, whereas Carfiello finished in ninth. also a very strong showing. Johnson here leaves a heavy hanger for Carfiello, which he converts. Now he is really in a tough spot with Carfiello being up 220s with the hammer. Johnson misses long, and this one is just about settled, and now it officially is with Johnson not converting that 20. We are going to see a 2-2 game after the first two rounds. Josh almost making a 20 there just for show, and getting those 20s is a tiebreaker if contestants at the end of the round are tied in total points, so Carfiello did want that 20 for sure, even though the the outcome of that round where is already settled. We see round three, Carfiello opens with an open 20, and Johnston responds. Thought that one might come up short, but it made its way in. Carfiello just a little hot, leaving a potential for a takeout 20 here for Johnston, which he is lining up, but he follows a little to the wrong side. We'll see if Carfiello is able to get this one in, which he does. He does not secure the takeout, so maybe not exactly the outcome he wanted, but getting the 20 was important, and he converted there. Johnson keeping pressure on. We'll see if Carfiello opts to bounce off a peg or just stick out there. Oh, he went for the peg and the 20, but came up just shy, but he left the disc on Johnston's side of the hole, which is not a bad lead. You see Johnson here trying to force play to the outside as he has the hammer, so he wants to keep Carfiello away from the 20 hole where he can secure a nicer lead. And with that peel from Carfiello and a follow-up 20 by Johnson, Johnson has a nice lead here being up a 20 with the hammer. Carfiello evens up the 20 count, and Johnson once again going for the Conrad, keeping Carfiello away from the 20 hole. We'll see how it works for him this time. There might be an angle in, and Carfiello finds it. That was a great shot from Carfiello, and very important to get that lead back in the 20s cup. 
Johnston leaves a hanger here. Carfiel converts it, and this round is going to go in favor of Josh Carfiello. That was a fantastic shot, which we'll see here again. Playing off the side, working his way in, and then a very similar shot here, but including the takeout at the end of the round. That was huge in getting Carfiello the victory that he earned there. And now he is up four points to two, going into the fourth round of four. Johnston will open up and leaving a hanger. We don't see Carfiello miss those often, and he certainly converts it here. He's up a 20 with the hammer. And Johnston almost super steves it. He stays for a valid shot, but gives Carfiello a nice leave, good hide behind that peg. We'll see if Johnston offs the peel, which he does. And now Carfiello gets an open shot. He is up two 20s with the hammer. This is going to be a tall order for Johnston to come back from. We'll see how he starts the comeback, and he super steves it. Johnson's been showing some fantastic play all day, but not quite channeling it in as much in this particular round. Carfiel with a big lead, but it's not over yet. Carfiel leaves a hanger, but Johnston can't quite convert it, gets the takeout. Carfiel looks like he got the 20 there, although not the takeout, but that might actually be preferable for Carfiel because he can now play outside with Johnson here, who needs to carve in, and this round is out of reach for Tom Johnson. Josh Carfiello wins that round and wins the game 6-2. to two. We see again the hanger 20 that he converted here, and that is all for this game. The Carfiello wins 6 points to 2.